What's up everyone? It's your main man here, Second Hunter. Um, I decided this is um, the best time of all to um, get this house tour started. It's uh, 9.30 at night, um, so you're going to have to bear with the darkness. But anyways, uh, you guys, let's get this thing started. I know a long, long wait for this, but uh, yeah, here we go. Hey YouTube, it's uh, your main man here, uh, Second Hand Hunter. I guess this actually uh, did work out very well here because you can't see the uh, address on my house. But um, here we are, front door. Let's uh, go inside, which I already left it cracked open. Uh, actually, to the right, left there, I got a garden hose. Cool. Uh, let's go inside. So, you guys, here is my duplex. This is my wife's, um, what do you call it, hutch thing or something like that. Um, to the left, right here, if you can see it. I got some shoes. I am sorry for the darkness. I am really sorry. Here's my um, infamous fish tank that I've taken videos of on my channel like that. Down below, which it is dark. I am so sorry, everyone. Down below, I've stepped away a little bit, is a uh, motorcycle driving book, which I've been wanting to get that endorsement. A um, fish um, net there and some perfect push-ups over there some of the kids shoes a uh, phone book and uh, an envelope uh, to the left or excuse me right there is some blocks for the kids right here is my son's bed and as you can see this is the main reason here why I can be able to do this because he is busy fast asleep not wanting attention. Over here, I am so sorry about the lighting quality. I got a uh, 64 controller. There's a thing of DVDs. Down there is my one of my hard drives that I have not plugged back in my computer, but this sucker is full of movies. It's one terabyte, and it is just cram-packed. There is a uh, Xbox controller. Let's move on to my desk. Right here, I actually have a um, soda bottle up there right now. Um, my drawer is like not working. It's not on the runners. Got a bunch of cord stuffed in there. Just a whole bunch of cool stuff. Got my microphone and stuff in there too. Let's see, got my speakers on top of my. Um, desk right there. This is actually something I picked up recently at a thrift shop. It's a Darth Vader mask, which I really like it up there. Um, some of my pictures so dumb. Gosh darn it. Uh, usually I have, have it sitting up like that. There's a picture of me and my boys. That's my um, contact solution right there. Yes, I wear contacts. Um, here is a picture of the house I grew up in. That's what it looks like when we first moved in. Now, it is completely remodeled, and I'll insert a picture of it right here. Let's put that back up right here. So I guess this is a good thing so I can get my pictures looking nice again. Here is a picture of my family when we went to the beach, ocean shores, 8, 22, 12. There's me and my wife, my son to the left, and my daughter to the right. I love this picture. Let's put that back up there. Have an angle like that. Have that angle like that. 
And this picture here is my wife and daughter when she was about maybe nine months old or something like that. That was my guess. Over here is a Superman um, cloth uh, poster type thing. Uh, I got some sort of like decorative wall thing hanging above my computer desk there. Um, with different like temperature gauges or whatnot else. That thing doesn't work at all. I just keep it up there because it looks nice. We got my cross up there. It says Jesus right there. Lamb of God. Deliverer, Savior, Son of God. Just a whole bunch of stuff like that. Which, uh, if you guys didn't know, I am a Christian. So, I keep that above my desk. Um, there's my modem right there. There too, by the way. Um, Stormtrooper mask. I am a big Star Wars fanatic. So, I collect for Star Wars stuff. Um, here's a picture of Jesus that my wife drew a while back. Um... Down here is some of my kids' clothes that needs to be put away. Hey, uh, yeah, that's dinner right there. Uh, it's actually my birthday right now, so that was my birthday dinner. Um, as you can see on my screen right there, um, my YouTube channel. I got my, uh, oh, come on. Got my soft modded Xbox down there. Got my Nintendo 64 right there. There's my radio scanner. I like this white, clearish Xbox controller. There is another, here's another one terabyte hard drive, sorry, one terabyte hard drive. That's full of movie, or not movies, but um, TV shows and stuff like that. <coughs> There's my really old um, computer tower right there. It's got a bunch of stickers on the side of it. Like that, Reliant K, Effect Radio, Hawk Nelson, uh, Sleep for Sleepers. Here's a picture of me and my wife right there as I'm pulling stuff out. Um, more stickers on this side there. Night Church, yeah, da 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 da. And I turned off my computer by yanking it out. Yay! Um, up here is some odds and ends type stuff. Uh, my sunglasses whole bunch of CDs, um, which here's one thing I picked up recently, um, Mist for the PC. I am excited about jumping into that there, but I have not quite tried it out. <coughs> Some of my CDs there, KJ52, um, No WTO, Combo, um, Manifest, The Chase, Signed by matter of fact, um, pull that out there for you guys to see. Yeah, I got some signed stuff, so that's cool. Put that to the side there. More signed CDs. Um, let's see, Brian Head Welch signed. Oh, what else do I got? Plea for Purging, which is that sign there. I'll have to pull that out so you guys can see the signatures. Plea for Purging is amazing. I got a lot of this stuff signed at um, Tom Fest a few years back. Put that to the side there. Uh, actually, KJ52 is signed too. Uh, uh, let's see, what else do I got? I got um, Weird Al Yankovic, which the CD is missing on it. The case or whatnot else, no big deal. Uh, there's almost about the extent of my signed CDs, dropping stuff all around. Um, See the light, um, Manathana or something like that. Everyone signed the back right there. I have to put all that stuff back when I'm done. That's one of my wife's CDs right there. Eminem Recovery. Um, there's one of my. Sun's walker chairs right there. Here is my entertainment center. Above, I got pictures of all my kids. That's my firstborn. That's my stepboy. That's my daughter. That's my youngest. Above, I got a picture of Jesus' hand sprinkling um, seeds 
with a hole in his wrist right there. And it says the sewer. That's pretty cool. There's my connect thing for the Xbox. Um, my guitar right next to the Xbox right there. The reason why I got that all hooked up because I can plug it right into my Xbox. You see like that. And play me some Rocksmith. So that's why I got that there. Um, there's my 360 right there. That's the remote to my um, DVR. My Wii, which I watch my Netflix through. That's a picture of my Step Boys end. Um, there's my Blu-ray player right there. My HD DVD player, which that's a new addition in my entertainment set. It's the HD... H... DA30... Something like that. See if this thing will focus at all. Uh, I'm sorry, you have to take my word for it. Um, right there's my Logitech review. Got Lord of the Rings right there on VHS. There's the Logitech review. Um, controller, keyboard, whatever. My HD cable box. Here's a quick look at some of my media. I got VHS tapes up on the top and DVDs kind of on the middle rack right there. A uh, Sega Genesis game. Some Blu-rays. Uh, HD DVDs. I got my Bible sitting down there. Joyce Meyer Bible. There's my VCR. I had a really nice one down here that kind of matched my laser disc right there, which, yeah, that's my laser disc. But that one uh, crapped out and I had to take the one from the top of my uh, computer desk, so I got that there. Uh, randomly, I got Matrix loaded, Reloaded sitting right there. I guess I must have recently watched it. Um, here's some of my laser discs. I'll quickly pull out a stack so you guys can kind of see what I got. I got a more in-depth, actually that's the record right there, Beatles Abbey Road, in-depth video of some of my laser discs and vinyl, um, which my laser discs, or not laser discs, but my vinyl have increased significantly since my initial collection video. Um, behind my entertainment set, if I can get it back there, I have tons of VHS tapes just stacked back there. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to get enough lighting. Oh yeah, hey, there you go. You can kind of tell. And I'm speaking too loud and my son's crying so I'm going to have to pause it. Sorry guys. Oh, that's upside down. So this couch here is actually a hide -a bed couch. So I can pull it out during the weekends and sleep in the front room. Up above there is my war poster which um, at my previous job, um, War was playing a concert there, so um, I got hooked up with this poster there when I was working security. So that was cool. I got some wedding pictures here. There's a picture of me and my wife. There's the actual invitation um, that was sent out for the wedding. There's a picture of our wedding rings right there. Us cutting the cake. My step boy and my wife. There's kind of a collage of pictures up there. Us um, feeding each other the cake. Another one of the rings. That's actually the picture that went with the uh, wedding invitations, which uh, got that down there too. Um, let's move on over here. There is my dartboard right there. Got a, uh, a wood cutout um, ring thing of Jesus there. I really like that. There is sh a chandelier that came with the house there. I got it um, up high because I'm a tall guy and I got tired of bumping into it. Here is the <coughs> table that we sit at. Um, here's my um, stereo set that I was listening to for a while, but I think it finally crapped out on us. Um, got a stack of vinyl right there. Stack of vinyl down there. There's my CD player up there. Five disc carousel CD changer. 
Um, there is a record on here, which I have Peter Frampton on there. Good, good stuff. Do you feel like we do? Um, a picture frame that I'm going to put a picture of my son in because it has Trinkle Trinkle Little Star on there and we sing that to him all the time. Uh, moving on over here, some more wall hanging stuff. Sleep for Sleepers, signed poster by the band. See a um, religious um, hang up poster type thing, which I got from the dollar store. It gives the story about footprints and everything like that. Um, there's my step boy right there when he was younger. Uh, me, my wife, and my step boy. <coughs> there's some artwork of my wife's. That she hung up right there. Um, there is a little love couch right there. Which, by the way, over here is my chair, which I just threw my leather jacket on because I was getting warm. I should have just hung it up. Oh, well. Um, there's my calendar with my work schedule up there. I got a little waddle um, figurine sitting on top of um, this VHS rack with... Um, this right here. Both these things there are sort of new. This lightsaber right there, which um, I really don't get the point of it. I just got it just because it, it does nothing. I mean, it's a stubby little thing. Uh, my buddy told me it was used for some sort of video game. I have yet to figure it out. Um, there's my VHS shelves, which I've already done an in-depth video of that. Uh, I kind of changed this out a little bit. I had it sideways like that there, but I figured I could fit more VHS tapes just by having it like that. Um, and then there's the other one there too. I'm not going to go in depth with that because I've already done that. Okay, um, let's go this way. Uh, go over here, which I'm going to flip on the hall light. Here is the hall that I filmed from before. Here is another um, photo frame of my step boy. Over here is my daughter, her first birthday. Um, random, there's the doorbell right there. There's a CO2 um, alarm thing or something like that. Uh, there's my Angry Birds hat, which I'm not wearing right now, but now I am. This right here is a sword that I bought from my buddy. A bunch of clothes. I hang up my t-shirts. This is about the messiest part of the house right now is this closet. So, um, yeah. So one of my favorite shirts right there. Star Wars. Which that's another idea that I had was to uh, put together a video of all my t-shirts. And I'll tell you a little bit about it when I'm wearing them or whatever. The t-shirts itself. So, um, hope to do Alright, funny thing as I'm making this video here. My wife calls me, so the video canceled out and stopped on me. So, um, I'm going to try to close this part right here. Open this part right here to show you that part. Nice. Um, here's my costume that I've worn for many years. Um, my wife's partial wedding dress. Oh, you guys got to check this out. This is another signed thing. It's actually, um, Brian Welch. I actually, the story up behind this here was I bought, um, I like this t-shirt, uh, when I saw it up on his page a while when he first came out with this stuff here. So I bought a t-shirt, um, and it never came in, which usually just like, um, three days for, for shipping or something like that for um, stuff that you buy and never came in so then it uh, came two weeks later when I got paid again I bought another one and it came in three days later and then months and months and months go by like I paid bought it like in the winter time and then come that summer this one here f or yeah this one here came in the mail and I was like what the heck is this I was like oh dude that's that t-shirt I bought a long time ago so when I went to like Creation Fest or something like that, um, I was wearing one t-shirt and I had another one all, had this one rolled up, folded up and everything like that. And I was like, can you tie the, sign this t-shirt for me? And I gave him 
that story and he's like oh man I'm so sorry about that but I actually got it signed by the entire band so that is freaking sweet I'm actually going to put this down on the floor so you guys can get a better look at it or whatever this is my prize possession right there because I love this shirt I have another one that's not in such good condition the print starting to fade away and everything like that but this here is my one of my prized possessions I never wear this shirt it is hung up one of these days I'm gonna get a frame and frame it so that'd be cool there is my professional turntable right there um, up here is a poster that I need to get framed it is a signed poster of manifest and it is in bad condition but whatever it's still signed let's move on over here here is my bathroom a um, couple clothes on the floor but whatever there's my sink <coughs> some more um, photo frames and stuff hi guys there you go you get kind of see my phone a bit um, here is another religious thing right there Toilet, kids' toilet, some hangers, picture things right there. There's my shower, no big deal. I don't have no special shower. Gotta get one of those. Let's move on to the kids' room. Over here, um, first thing you see is some artwork that my wife did saying Isabel's room. So let's go on over here. There's her bed right there. She loves Minnie Mouse. So my parents got a her a actually my dad got this for her a bed set of Minnie Mouse so I'm thankful that he did that there my wife put up on the wall there Isabel those are just stickers basically there's the dresser cram packed of both kids' clothes yeah it needs to be organized there is a changing table right there bassinet that we need a um get rid of because he's no actually two bassinets because he's no longer sleeping in the bassinet he's sleeping in the crib there's some of the kids toys <coughs> um, bouncer type thing for Eli there um, nightstand more toys more toys some of her clothes hung up there um, let's move on to my room which it's not bad bad um Shiloh what are you doing on the bed for what are you doing on the bed where am I supposed to sleep tonight where am I supposed to sleep it's like on the floor anyways um there's a bin of stuff kind of got a money jar going on right there some diapers right there my alarm clock underneath it uh it, it's picked up but it's um Definitely need some more organizing. Here's my Star Wars books collection right there. Um, some Washington State Corrections Officer Study Core books right there, which I plan on um, getting into that. Quick look at my books right there. Star Wars books. Um, there's my printer. Open this up. There's my sealed VHS tape. There is another project right there, a um, uh, air tank for the fish that the dog chewed through. So I was thinking about working on that, but gave up on it because I didn't want to shot. See there, um, Star Wars, an undiscovered country sealed. I'll go more in depth that later on. There's one of the shoe boxes that I did a video on a while back. Some of my weekly world news magazine some more of my books oh let's see let me pull look at that grand theft auto 4 put that up there um fieldy nice day drop the phone sorry guys there's one thing in here that i wanted to show you guys and it's stephen king green mile do i even have it in there yes i do Yes, I do. Brian Head wrote, Save Me For Myself. And it is signed by the band. 
So I'm happy about that. That's my other prized possession right there. Even though the corners are all messed up. But whatever. I read it. Had it for like a year. And then had him sign it. When I went to creation. So that's all cool. Um, got a lamp right there. Which I need to put a bulb in. There's a picture of my step boy right there. That's not hung up yet. There's a picture of Eli right there. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's randomly up there, but whatever. Gotta put that away. There's my bedroom TV. Um, some of my stuff in here. There's my firstborn right there. Um, my Game Boy right there. Some of my 64 games. Right here is my Nintendo NEX. NES clone. Some more books in there, my um, Game Wave thing, my unmodded Xbox, a stack of games, which I'll go more into depth at later on, more vinyl records. Let's close this up there. There is my bedroom VHS player, bedroom DVD player, the um, cable converter. There's a tape down there and here is supposed to be more vinyl but I guess I took it all out I thought I had some in there so I got a lot of room for more vinyl um, right there's some vinyl so a lot of stuff a lot of stuff um, that's my bed my bedroom stereo set which usually I just Plug my phone in and listen to that at night and plug my phone into the wall. What are you doing, Shiloh? Where am I supposed to sleep? Seriously. Are you, are you, are you, are you seriously going to take my spot? Are you seriously going to take my spot? Alright then. Good boy. Good boy. Um, and look down there, there's my Model 2 Genesis, which I didn't go into depth with these, um, bins yet. As I pulled over and knocked this over, whole bunch of electronics in there, which I guess that could be a future video as well. So I'm going to have to stack that up when I'm done. There is my turntable right there, which I've done some of my uh, Let's Listen To videos on. Um, open this up a bit. I don't even think this is plugged in. And open this side up, which it has room to store vinyls, but I'm just storing the other stuff in there right now. Let's move on to the kitchen. Which, uh, that there's the hub. Um, that there is a baby book for Eli. Not much stuff in there. I guess we haven't been taking, uh, keeping up on it. Some towels and random. <coughs> Some laundry that needs to be folded. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Should have got that done before I did this video. Here is my neatly organized kitchen. Better than what it's been. Um, let's go through the drawers. Not much in there right now, but it's a little bit. Got my spices and stuff in there. Uh, some stuff for the kids to snack on. This key. Here is the cereal cupboard. Over here. Got some top ramen. Some Chef Boyardee. Um, some apple juice up there. Canned apple juice. Baby food. I think I got some... Um, yeah, up here. Macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. So that's some good stuff there. Um, freezer's not as full as it was when I first filmed this. But it's got a little bit in here. Um, we're big on the dinner type foods. We got some burritos down there. Some chicken right here. Corn dogs. Hot dogs. My wife, uh, daughter likes corn dogs. Some TV dinners. I found that it's easier to store if you take them out of the boxes. Um, some hamburger meat and everything like that. Chicken nuggets. Some up there, ham, 
hamburgers right there. Um, I think bacon right there. I think I ate the last Hot Pocket this morning, which that gave me indigestion, so I shouldn't have eaten it. Um, got some popsicles. Let's see some uh, vegetables. Let's move on to the fridge, which this fridge is. Yeah, it's and we need a new fridge. Not much in there right now. Usually we got like bagels and stuff like that socked up. On. So here's the fridge. Got some. Yeah, need to do more shopping in here. Um, usually I got like bagels and um, cream cheese and whatnot else in there, but recently cleaned it out because there was stuff like growing. And that's gross. Got some eggs down there. Got more eggs. Not much to look at. Cottage cheese up there. Yogurt stuff for the kids. That's another thing I put in here is yogurt for me as well. Um, jelly. Hot dogs down there. That's about it, guys. Sorry. Moving over here. I got a TV in the, inside the kitchen. Um, jars for a bunch of spices and stuff like that, sugar or whatever else. Finally, for Eli, here's where we keep our bowls and everything else. All that's full, it's just random stuff. Nothing really. In here is more like basic like storage macaroni and cheese down there. There's my grill down there. More random stuff in there. Um, crock pot and boiler type stuff. Whatever. There's microwave right there. Juice for the kids or Bell. Um, see milk mixing stuff. Um, top ramen. Got some coffee filters. Bread up there. Um, hamburger helper stuff. Peanut butter. Uh, marshmallows, mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's basically it for that. Um, got some dishes that need to be put away. Um, over here, more cereals, hot chocolate, pancake mix, instant oatmeal. Over here is my coffee maker, which you guys seen before. Um, down below, I got my Folgers coffee. Yeah, I'm stocked up. Um, over here is where we keep our silverware, which most of it right now is in the dishwasher. That's cram packed full. Let's go to the kitchen, which we're in the kitchen. I mean the garage. Um, here's just a side closet with random stuff in there, which I can show you guys this right now. This is pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I plan to get this framed and put up next to my computer desk. I'll put that away when I'm done with the video. Let's move on to garage. And here's just storage. It's neatly stacked, kind of. Uh, there's a couch that used to be in the front room. Our old dining room table, which I'm thinking about putting that outside for when we um, sit out there. Old front room TV, which I kind of use when I do laundry. Washer and dryer. There's the water heater right there. Um, more of the kids' toys. A swing for Eli. Fan. Mount, another bouncy thing. Um, you recognize this hockey table from my very long pickup video. Old stuff that used to be in the fish tank that I took out. Double stroller. There's my garage door right there. Stuff that we need to get rid of. There we go. So, um, I wish I would have had more stuff in the um, fridge to show you guys, but um, I guess I'll just probably dedicate a video just for that sometime or whatever. So, at this time, the house was pretty well um, picked up, so I decided to get this video out there for you guys. Um, I can kind of try to do a 
show of the yard as well, which is way too damn dark out there, so I'll have to do that another time um, in the morning time. So there's not much else more to talk about. That's um, basically it. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I know I've already made a designated video for this, but um, originally my house tour was for my 50 sub thank you. So I, I just wanted to add this as a final note. Thank you for everyone that subbed to me. Um, thank you for 50 subs, and here's for 50 more. See you guys later. Uh, I'm going to say this one more time, but I'm sorry, you guys, that this took forever. You know... I screwed up on something, so that led to the delay of this video, so I apologize. I'm really sorry, but here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, here we go. Here's a look at the yard. There's the hose again. Um, got some stuff against the fence there to keep shallow in because there's a hole right there, a hole right there, and a hole in the corner right over there. Um, I need to put that basketball hoop back up. Do that right now. Don't dog chew that up. Uh, this is basically his domain right here. Watch where I step because I don't know what I'll be getting myself into. Uh, there we go. That's up there. So here's the side yard area. It's like, hey, get out of my yard. Right, dog? Got a nice climbing tree right there, which yes, I have climbed this sucker, and it is very easy to climb, and very fun. Damn! So yeah, here's my side yard. These pine needles are a pain in the butt, because a lot of them fall up on the roof and everything like that, and yeah, it's no fun. Here's the side yard, all fenced in basically, dividing the neighbor's yard and our yard, back door right there. No swing set or nothing for the kids yet, but no, it comes in time. Sorry that I had a video of my dog taking a leak there, but whatever. That's the window of the kids' room, nice little bush. The road is right next door. A little squirrel feeder thing so that there kind of basically concludes my video my house tour so thank you for uh, everyone for watching uh, rate comment subscribe do all that cool stuff and i'll catch everybody next time thanks for watching